we have four learning communities at Eagle Hawk Secondary College. Uh, in each community we have students ranging from 7, 8, 9 and 10. Uh, so we have a fair bit of modelling from the year 10s to the year 7s. But basically each community has uh, upwards of uh, 6 to 7 home groups and they operate, most of their classes operate within each learning community. I think in the traditional classroom it used to be quite difficult for one teacher to get around to 25 kids and help each individual student. Uh, if you think of a 70 minute lesson, you know, 25 kids, you're looking at two and a half minutes per student and it's not a lot of time. Whereas uh, in the neighbourhood and the open environment and the team teaching area, we could have one teacher instructing um, most of the class and another teacher can go around and help those individual students who need that extra help. The best thing about having the learning communities, everything's um, a lot more modern. The old buildings were the traditional style of teaching. You had your teacher up the front with your blackboard and stuff like that. Um, we've got a lot more technology now than we used to. You've got projectors and things like that, so it's not three classes all crammed into the one room just to go watch a movie or something like that. We've all got our own laptops and we can watch it at our own pace. The teacher advisory program that's been a part of the Bendigo Education Plan has um, encouraged um, the teacher advisors, which are the old form teachers, to become you know, the carers of their form group. Um, we're much more involved with the kids. We have much more parent contact. That's been a major part of the um, education plan that the first port of call is the teacher advisor. The relationship with between teachers and students is um, a lot better because um, you see a lot more of your teachers. It's not just one teacher in one classroom. You've got a number of teachers, a number of classrooms and you get to see a lot more of them. Personalised learning and stage related learning is, is something that with the new setup of the colleges it's, it's a lot easier to try and control uh, and try and manipulate for each individual student. Uh, and I'll go back to using maths as an example where if uh, a student is, is excelling in maths and they might be a year ahead of where they need to be, they can tailor work for that student specifically to challenge that student. On the flip side of the coin, if a student's a year behind where they should be on, in terms of their VALS level, uh, that student can get a tailor-made program in maths for their level to challenge them. We're being taught to our level and we're not learning stuff that isn't relevant to us. And we're with students that are at our level as well so we can help each other and work through things. In terms of outcomes from the Bendigo Education Plan to, to the traditional school, we're seeing stronger attitudes to school surveys. Um, we haven't received ours this year yet but uh, we're expecting to see another stronger uh, result there. In our NAP plan from last year, we, our growth um, compared to where we were was stronger than average, so we're seeing good results in our NAP plan as well. But just the unknown, I think, I, do, I couldn't visualise very well what it would be like. Am I going to be in a barn teaching 50 kids? Is it noisy? Um, I wasn't really sure. The biggest highlight was how well it's worked. The fact that um, I, I like coming to work being a part of this community, um, Ben and I leading this community. I like the people I work with and I love working with the kids. 